Okay. It's casual just rolling out my glutes. Okay, but uh, it is Sunday, April 11th, right? 11th? So currently less than 10 weeks out. So that's pretty crazy. So this prep seems like it's flying by. Um, so yesterday was 10 weeks out. So now we're 69 days away from hitting the stage in Chattanooga at NPC Junior Nationals. So um, like I said, man, the prep's going by pretty quick. Um, there hasn't been any major changes either. So my weight's going down pretty consistently. Um, I started this prep at like 225, and now I'm 216. I had a new load today. I was 216 this morning. Uh, like I said, not a bunch of changes in terms of food. It's kind of the same. Uh, I'm gonna actually film a full day of eating for you guys here pretty soon. Uh, so that'll be up on the channel so you guys can kind of see what I've been eating and what my calories look like uh, and how I kind of distribute them throughout the day. Um, but other than that, um, it's kind of that point in prep where I'm starting to see a lot of changes. So a lot, a lot of changes, which is um, obviously what we want. Obviously what we want. So we still have a long way to go, but uh, I might do like a little physique update at the end of the video if we're feeling good. So um, considering I still have 10, 10 weeks to pull it together, nine and a bit now, um, I feel like we're in a really good spot. So uh, we're gonna hit some legs today. Um, like I said, energy is kind of hit or miss. So the importance of your workouts now is gonna be really keeping your intensity up. So um, if you guys watched my show day video, I kind of had this talk with all of my clients that were doing that show. And it's the importance of kind of like not letting up. Um, Cause honestly, man, like there's this stigma of like, you know, and people ask me all the time, oh, are you doing, you know, less, less weight, more reps and blah, blah, blah. Hell no. Like I'm training the exact same. I'm still trying to increase weight. I'm still trying to overload. I'm still trying to like be sore as hell. I'm still beating myself up in the gym. Um, literally the only thing that changes is gonna be my food, uh, my cardio, and then some supplements. Like that's it. Everything else is still foot on the floor, on the gas 100% of the time. So, um, you know, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what a leg day like that looks like. Um, you know, the energy goes quickly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of get the most out of your energy quickly um, and get a lot of reps in in a short amount of time. So um, we're gonna hit a leg workout. This leg, leg workout should take you probably about an hour. Uh, and then I got 30 minutes of cardio after this. And then I might show you guys how I'm looking after that. So um, strap up, get some popcorn, drink some pre, whatever you're doing when you're watching this video. We got legs, let's do it. Okay, so today's workout's gonna be structured pretty different. Um, so this first exercise, we're just gonna hit two sets. And then after that, we're gonna go increase our set volume, but decrease the uh, total amount of reps. So this first thing that we're gonna do is just gonna be a calf raise on a machine leg press. We're gonna hit two rounds here. We're gonna go 50 reps a pop. So um, our next exercise, we're gonna do three sets, and then four sets, and then five sets. So like I said, more sets, less reps. So we're gonna hit 50 reps per set, uh, nothing crazy on the way here. We're just gonna focus on getting a lot of blood in the calves. I'm starting out with calves because um, sometimes if I, you know, kind of hammer my legs early in the workout, I kind of half-ass the calves at the end. So it's just a way we kind of put some more emphasis on the calves at the beginning of the workout, um, and that way it kinda, I kind of ride that momentum throughout the whole workout. Um, and it's kind of like another kind of way to warm up and still kind of make sure that my joints are good, my knees, ankles, hips are all good. So um, like I said earlier, we want our foot to be on the gas, but at the same time, we don't want to be stupid and we don't want to be injured. Um, so two sets of 50, get a good squeeze in, pick a weight that's hard. Um, and if you have to kind of pause at like 25, 30, 40 reps, that's all right, rest, pause them, um, and knock out the 50 reps per set.
Okay, so that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. So, um, but hard is what you need. So I'm doing this workout no pre as well, disclaimer, because uh, it's a little bit later, it's 6.30. Um, so I don't wanna kinda be up all night, especially on a Sunday, I got work early in the morning. So we're doing this with no pre, so we're just running on straight will right now. Um, but we just hit two sets of calves on the leg press. So now next exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be three sets. Um, so we're still gonna go pretty high in the reps, um, but still pretty low in the amount of total sets. So we're gonna hit three sets, we're gonna hit 25 uh, reps per set. So weight is gonna be lower, it's still gonna be hard around 20 to 25, right? So I want those last five to still be a real grind to get through. Um, just because it's higher reps does not mean it should be easy. It does not mean it should be easy. Let me reiterate, it should not be easy, okay? Um, and I think one reason, kind of touching on that, going back to what I was saying earlier, one reason why I've been able to grow so much from show to show, year to year, is by implementing methods like this to where even when you're not feeling strong, you're still working that muscle really to the point of failure almost every single set of every single day. So. We're about to jump in, three sets, 25 reps. Um, if they start getting ugly, same thing as the other one, rest, pause them, take a second, rack the weight, big breath, back to work, let's do it. My pump right now, like, well, not even a pump, but like the contraction on everything is crazy right now, which is a really good thing. Like, I'm a big proponent on feel, but like, damn, like, it's like to the point where it's like it hurts to squeeze. Um, that way, it was pretty good though. I'm probably gonna add another five, um, and we got two more sets of that. So, again, um, I kind of touched on my last leg video. I don't keep the rest very long on legs. Um, especially when you're doing a, whole, a lot of reps like this, like you should be kind of able to take a minute and then bounce back into another one. So I'm gonna adjust the weight, take another 30 seconds, and then back into set number two. Okay, uh, we just did lying hamstring curls. We did three rounds there. We're gonna move on to our next exercise. It's gonna be a squat press. So um, it's pretty much a leg press. If you guys don't have a squat press, hit up just like, you know, a regular 45 degree angle leg press. Uh, I prefer the squat press because it's more on a pendulum versus on fixed bearings. So um, it's a little bit easier on my knees, my ankles and my hips, which all of which are pretty jacked. So, um, but we did three sets over there. We're gonna hit four sets of this guy. Um, with more sets, we're gonna decrease the total amount of reps. Uh, so we did three by 25 over there. We're gonna do four by 20 over here, okay? So still a lot of reps. Uh, we're going pretty heavy. We pretty much have the equivalent of like four plates on here. Um, since we are on the squat press, it does feel a little bit heavier than on your traditional leg press. So we're gonna kind of put that into account too. Um, our foot placement on this guy is gonna be pretty much in the middle. Um, we're gonna go mainly quad focus, but we're gonna get a little bit of glutes and hams in there as well. So four by 20, again, pretty short rest time. We're gonna get after it, hit it home. And if it's easy, we're gonna add some weight. Cats come off. Yeah, my hamstrings, I can already feel my hamstrings are like very full. Okay. Just oh. gonna let that stretch hit for a second. Oh my god.
So I don't know if we got this on camera or not, but um, I, I'll tell anyone who'll listen that my, my knees and my ankles are not the best. Um, I was a catcher for most of like high school and growing up, so um, I can usually tell from the first like exercise or so if my knees are gonna be cooperating with me. And today they feel like really good. So on days like today, um, you know, just kind of like focusing on getting a good workout in when I can is gonna be really important. Um, so since my legs are feeling good, I have really good contraction. I'm gonna keep the weight there. Um, but like I said, rest time pretty short, so I'm about to dive in the next one. We got three more rounds of that guy. So, form tip on this one, before I get any weird comments, say I'm not going low enough or whatever, um, I actually picked this up when I started training people. Um, in case I don't know, that's what I do with most of my time. I actually am like a one-on-one -on -one personal trainer, and it's in the online coaching and everything too. So, I would notice that people would come here on the sled, and whenever they'd come down, they'd actually roll up at the hips. So basically, Think about your spine, I mean straight up, it'd be like this on this pad. Your spine would actually be going like this with your hips coming too far back. So I've actually shortened the range of motion, which is kind of like on the first couple reps, you can usually see me wiggle up. My butt's not all the way down in the chair. Um, and I don't come too far down. So I kind of start or stop, I should say, when my knees are right in front of my shoulders. And then I drive through the heels and I focus more on the contraction at the top of the movement more so than the depth on the bottom um, so I've noticed that like it helps me overload my quads more I feel a lot more in my quads I can do more reps more quality reps saves my back and my knees um, and overall I just get a lot more out of the movement so see if that helps you um, if this guy hurts your knees or your back and um, and see if it helps you push some more blood in your quads so if that's why you see me going not super super far down on the depth, that's why I give it a try. Hey, we good? Okay, so um, one of our last exercises that we're gonna do is gonna be a regular leg extension. So we have a lot of blood in the legs now um, from the squat press. So we're gonna go ride that momentum straight into leg extension. Um, started off with two sets, calves, three sets, leg curls, four sets, squat press. So you know we got five sets, baby. So five sets here, we're gonna get 15 reps. So decreasing the reps once again, we had 20 on the squat press, going down to 15 here. Five sets of 15, um, pretty heavy weight. Uh, this is probably the most like similar weight uh, from like your, you know, your kind of normal workout that you might be doing. Um, so we're gonna ride this out. We got one more thing after this, and that's a wrap for today. Song, right? What do y'all vibe to when you work out? My prep playlist is different. But usually, like, you know, kind of, I'm a hip hop guy. But it, it depends, man. Like, especially when I'm deeper into prep, sometimes I'll do like some EDM. Sometimes I'll do like some 2000s rock, like some Lincoln Park, you know, kind of getting my, my little emo feels. Um, let's just do hip hop today. Just keep it, keep, go with what I know, you know? All right, 15 rounds, let's go. Okay, so 
We did two sets, three sets, four sets, five sets. Now we're gonna do something for time. So we're gonna hit three minutes of walking lunges. Um, the quads are pretty taxed. Um, so all we're gonna do is a short strided lunge to focus more on the quad. So instead of, you know, a really big stride length, I'm almost gonna do kind of like a crab walk, um, keeping the stride short, really try and put a lot of the emphasis in the quad and the glutes. So, uh, like I said, three minutes straight. Um, to be honest, I've never done this before. So that may be easy or it may be super freaking hard, but we to do it to see how it is. Um, after that, I got 30 minutes of cardio um, and I'm gonna do a physique update. So I might do it before or after cardio, we'll see. So three minutes of walking lunges, short stride. Make sure you take a mental note of the stride length. Um, and kind of how I'm pushing off my front foot into the next step, okay? So three minutes lunges, let's get it, and the workout's done. We're about to start the clock. So ready, one, two, and three, let's go. So like I said, short stride. They're just like so full of blood. I'm going all the way in three minutes. So, 3.47, I got back here with like two minutes and like 52 seconds. So, kind of what I was saying at the beginning of the workout, don't cut yourself any slack. Like get your shit done, find a way to make it happen, foot on the gas the entire time. Uh, so instead of going eight seconds shorter, I went almost a whole extra minute. And that's the type of shit that's gonna be a difference between first place in a pro card and second, third call outs. Cause right now my quads hurt, but second and third call outs are gonna work, hurt a lot more. So, got a physique update and some cardio, but that's legs a wrap for right now. Um, Hopefully the hair's all looking a mess. Okay, so a little bit of a physique update. You know you're in prep when you're taking off your clothes lit literally in the middle of the gym. Um, but <laughs> we're gonna try and get it done. Like I said, we are just inside 10 weeks out now, so um, definitely feel some changes happening. Um, but I'm sure when I look at this video, it'll be like, damn, you look like shit. But no, like honestly, on the real, like I do feel really good for where I'm at. Um, I actually have a picture somewhere. I might have Peter try and pop it up here, but this picture, this picture, depending on what side of the screen it's on, uh, was nine weeks out from last year. So that gives me a lot of hope, considering I'm kind of at that same point right now. Um, I feel like I'm miles ahead in terms of fullness, size, conditioning, the whole nine yards. Um, so if y'all aren't kind of really familiar with the competing terms and whatnot, conditioning is basically like kind of how shredded you are. Fullness is basically how big you appear. Um, 
And overall, those are two really important components. Uh, it's not a skating competition, and it's not just a big competition either. So you have to be shredded, you have to be big, you have to be thick, you need to have like striations, have a good taper, um, you know, so a little waist, big shoulders. So it's all coming together pretty, pretty well. So um, like I said early in the video, I'm 216 pounds as of this morning. Um, last year I competed at 205. So if we're at that same trend, we're about 11 pounds off, which if it's, you know, a pound a week, we're, like, we're gonna lose and aim for, we're right on track. So I'm hoping I can be a little bit fuller, uh, gained hopefully a couple pounds of muscle in my off season where um, you know, I might be 206, 207, 208, around that mark. Um, but honestly, we're gonna keep on shredding down until we look absolutely nuts. So, um, we did have some minor changes in supplement protocols. Um, so I already feel those changes very much so. Um, and also, just a little disclaimer, um, I have already been dieting for six, seven weeks. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, and we just did legs, so no upper body pump. And it is also eight o'clock in the evening. Um, and I am four meals deep, four meals deep. And um, so all of my carbs have been consumed for today. So after this, uh, I have one more steak meal and then a pretty much a protein shake. Yeah. So most of my food has been consumed probably over a gallon deep. So without further ado, here we go. how we're looking um i can definitely feel a little bloat and sense here just from food and everything but like i said um i feel like i'm definitely really far ahead um compared to what i was at last year and i just feel like a lot more like advanced you know i feel like i have a lot more like quality size on me um that way when i do get leaner uh, and start filling out a little bit more um it's gonna look freakier uh, as weird as that sounds so um, it's crazy because now I kind of, I can see what I'm going to look like in a few weeks. Whereas the past couple of years of prep, like in 2019 and 2020, I was just kind of like, it, it was like a whole new experience. So now I kind of know what I can look like and what I'm capable of looking like. Um, and just from like where I started and how much progress I made through the prep, I really feel like I'm going to make a ton more progress over the next 10 weeks. So we have 69 days. I'm, I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm just fucking stoked. Um, like, I'm really, really happy with where we're at. Uh, my coach is pretty happy with where I'm at. Like I said, there's been very few diet changes, which means that we're all, like, you know, we're definitely trending in the right direction. Um, and honestly, if you can just look at the picture that we have on the wall here at the gym from 2019, like, the differences in muscle mass, size, like, my chest, my shoulders, like, the differences that those groups of muscles have made in the past two years gets me hyped so um last year I was, I was really really happy and really thankful to be in the first call out um at a national show which basically means i was you know a few, a few spots away from earning my pro card um and now like the expectations to win so uh now that i have like that mindset where i'm coming and like i have that dog like i really am pretty excited um i try and keep my own prep like very low key um because you know i coach others and I never try and come across as arrogant, you know, but like you kind of have to have that confidence in yourself sometimes. Um, and this year I just have that confidence. Like I really like, I know that I'm working harder than most. Um, I know that I'm bigger than most in my group. I know I can get more conditions. Um, and I know that I improve every year. Like I've never looked at my stage trust and been like, damn, I could have done better. Um, and also like kind of what I said in that, in that beginning part of the workout, like, I really do 
all the extra shit. Like, I really live this life year round to make sure that I'm better on stage um, each year. So I think that's gonna show up this year. And um, I'm just excited, man. I'm excited to bring you all along with it. I'm excited to see how I look. Um, and I'm excited to go try and make a run of that pro card. So appreciate you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna try and crank out some more videos this week. Full days of eating, some more workouts, more prep updates, day in the life, all the fun stuff. Appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, shoot me a follow on Instagram if you have not already, David Shore Fitness. Shoot me a follow on TikTok. I'm trying to get more videos popping on TikTok. Uh, David Shore Fitness on TikTok. If you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching slash personal training slash come to check out my gym, hit me up, teamdsf.com, um, or hit me up on Instagram, David Shore Fitness again. Appreciate the love, appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe if you have not, it really helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.